waktu ya woi makar masero nyire bila pesa dunia nie they say make hay when the sun shines i say buy hay when you have the otongo my name is sylvester ogwangfumbe the only man with an english name from nyamtoi county regional diaspora i do not like to brag neither will i brag But I also don't think it is a crime to tell you that I'm a proud owner of all the prices you see in this town. Mr. Price, Mac Price, Enterprise, Car Price, and for the sake of women representatives, I am soon building Mrs. Price. But do I say I am a well-traveled man? Just the other day, Sepp Blatter himself had please called me, flashed me, embarrassed me, tweeted me. Do you know why? He was simply begging me. Begging me to go and sit next to him. <laughs> But do I say? I know that most of you have now started thinking that my life has been a bed of roses all through. But no, Mr. President, help me as to find the true story of this young man, Sylvester Bwampumbe, Otongolo time. Eni madugu sikizeni leo niwambi eni abari ya Otongolo. Eni madugu. I graduated with a diploma in business administration from Nyamtoi Village Polytechnic University College. Our college, our college principal who double up as dean of students, vice chancellor. Matron and also the official bus driver <laughs> always insisted to us that it would be totally disappointing for someone to go through Nyamtoi Kindergarten, Nyamtoi Primary School, Nyamtoi CDF Secondary School, Nyamtoi Village Polytechnic University College, and end up working in Nyamtoi Centre. He always insisted to us that for you to show that you had gone through an institution of higher learning is to graduate, travel to Gorekapwana. Nairobi to make a tongue look. And so after my graduation, I had no option but to travel to Nairobi to make a tongue look. Ogwango fumbe onyango magunda kora woke gwangwa. Oi Nairobi I don't pay the one I use the euro tongue look. Abunga kikosi miti ni monda you the euro tongue look. Ke dadi yo mlengo ni monda you the euro tongue look. I want you to yo go yo ni monda you the euro tongue look. Yo ware ti yo ndugu ni monda you the euro tongue look. one said ukipanda pantosha utashuka ambassador <laughs> i alighted i alighted at the ambassador walked all the way to railways took matatu number 8 octopizo ivo 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 why does number 8 octopizo go to analog you don't know no wa kare i had expected life in nairobi to be smooth all the way Gafla bin boost and boost and lip of fika lower current. Alhamdulillah. Guys, problem started following me like muddy money. Problem number one, language. I had lived in Yamtoi speaking one language and one language only, Luotino. <laughs> This is the language being spoken by my cousin Obama Wada Lego at White House. <laughs> But when I arrived in the city, I found out that speaking Kiswahili was compulsory. How did they expect me? I hold me. Sylvester Gwangfumbe would not fail to speak Kiswahili. Of course, of course I knew Kiswahili. The only Kiswahili word I could comfortably speak was Maharaba. <laughs> this was because This was because Our head teacher used to stand before us before us each and every morning at the assembly and just his old shirt while looking at us at a perpendicular angle with a hot smile then greet maharaba wanafuzi ayoma yoma yo yawa yawa jama nani even maharaba wewe pia will not be the best response for such a question problem number two, sanitation yo watu wana wa karen adume one toilet all one needed to do was to pay 10 shillings for long call 5 shillings
shillings for short calls and two shillings for SMS, short, medium, short calls. In case one did not have a tongue to make the calls, you will use the readily available of Wajahaz BTFT, black toilet and flying toilet. <laughs> Problem number three, insecurity. It was only a lower career where one will wash his own clothes, hang them outside, go inside the house, sneak through the back door, steal the neighbor's clothes, only to realize that he has just stolen his own clothes. <laughs> One morning, one morning, thieves broke into my three bedroom bulletin house. And on realizing that I did not have anything to steal, they caned me thoroughly, threatening to do worse the next day they will come back and did not find anything to steal. But the biggest problem was joblessness. I had expected to find a job in Nairobi, but as they say, if pockets were wishes, I will wake up early in the cobweb, use my leg, sass, and foot shubishi to metropolitan KIA, Kenya Industrial Area, to look for a job. At KIA, I had three jobs on a construction site. One, I was the human resource manager in financial accountability, resource mobilization, internal and external affairs, a sweeper. <laughs> Two, I was the officer in charge of obligatory locomotive in cargo shipmentation, a wheelbarrow officer. <laughs> Three, this was the most important job that people recognize me. I was the chief inspector. Attorney General of the Kenya National Vocal Point on Small Arms and Light Weapons, KNFP, a watchman. <laughs> I will try to save the little that I have, and at the end of the entire week, I had only enough to take me to City Stadium for the state function. I also bought a home theater, a small transistor radio, to enable me know, give my penny watch of what the world was saying and also to avoid some caning in case the thieves come back. <laughs> One morning when I went to KIA, my heart was propagated into a cardiotropic attack. I almost experienced a CCF, congestive cardiac pain. The building which you are constructing was finally over. This meant that I was officially jobless again. I had to look for a job to sustain my living in Nairobi. But all was in vain. I looked for a job. I looked for a job. I looked for a job. Of course, of course I found a job. Only to realize that that job was to look for a job. <laughs> the Swahilians once said, Atapdaya choki, akichoka, kashabata, shikupata. My relatives back in the village, did not forget that I was in the city to make a tongue who should change the less for the better. Each problem that faced them at all will be passed to me through the numerous and replied paragraphs of letters. Paragraph one, dear Sylvester, our coward invaded our neighbor's farm and it has eaten all the molayas and the manures. Therefore, send us some otongulo to pay the fight. Paragraph two, dear Sylvester, your younger cheeky brother, had been misbehaving with the chief's daughter, and he has finally put her in the family way. Therefore, send us some Otongolo to pay the dowry. Paragraph 3. Dear Sylvester, our cow has chicken pox, and our chicken has mud cow disease. Therefore, send us some Otongolo to buy paracetamol and dino. Paragraph 4. Dear Sylvester, dog, meanwhile, Maisha is the seat. The landlord was at my police and door threatening. <laughs> him lango.
the thieves also had issued a warning to them that I should buy two new batteries for my home theater before they could come back and steal it. Of course, they caned me again. <laughs> to make it worse, my neighbor's wife put my three-bedroom polythene house on fire as a result of post-marital violence with her husband. <laughs> I was now homeless, jobless, brokeless, going a full week to those of you who had become a norm for me. Eating was as luxurious as driving a Mercedes Benz. Achandora, eh, Achandora, 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 eh, Achandora, Narobia, Achandora, Achandora, eh, Achandora, 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 eh, Achandora, Ogbang, Achandora, Achandora, eh, Achandora, Achandora. One day I missed all the calls. I did not take lunch. I did not take breakfast. I did not take supper. Simply because I did not have a domino to buy any food. Hey! Nairobi! <laughs> Nairobi, you mean you can do this to me? But <laughs> Nairobi, you have done me. Nairobi, my Nintendo! Embarrassment or no embarrassment, I decided to go back to my village of Nyamtoi. I'm coming home, home where I belong. Oh, Mr. President, it is now over a year since I came back to my village of Nyamtoi. Transformation is evident. My issue is Yeah. <laughs> 